Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we're going to do our monthly prayer request video, and I want to thank the brethren for praying for Victoria. Her teeth were taken out last month. She did good. This month she's doing okay. She's got a little bit of a sore that we're working on, but she's 13 years old. <laughs> 13 years old, and she's she's getting up there. She's been a blessing from the Lord. Um, so. The Bible talks about we're to pray without ceasing. We're supposed to let our requests be made known unto God. We're supposed to pray for one another, brothers and sisters Christ. One of the biggest prayers I pray is that God will open the eyes of the blind, of both saved and lost. Because even saved people can get distracted by the world, by the flesh, and by, the, uh, by Satan. And anything to get your eyes off Jesus Christ. Anything to get your eyes off Jesus Christ. So I'm always praying for the brethren. I'm always praying for the brethren when it comes to food and raiment. Okay, pray for the brethren that they keep standing, standing Oops. for the Word of God and the life that they're living, that they continue being a verbal witness and a living witness for Jesus Christ. That's there, and I'm always praying for that for the brethren. Some of the prayer requests that I brought up, uh, the, the wood stove, I'm going to give you an update on what's happening with the wood stove. I finally found someone that will come out and help me get rid of the pellet stove that's there. It's, it's broken, the computer system's fried. It's just a big, huge paperweight. So, it's got two holes piping that go out the house because the way the pellet stoves, the one the electric pellet stoves go, is they use they bring air from inside and blow it and use that to blow the smoke out. Okay, and then there's heaters that'll grab air from inside and heat the air from inside uh, through the pellet stove. But about a blind, the two pipes go out the house and the new wood stove is going to come in, the pipe goes straight up through the roof and not out the wall of the house. So I need to get that removed. We need to get those holes sealed and uh, make sure that they're water sealed because it goes out the house to make sure that no moisture gets in and no dry rot because around here when you're around the coast, the beaches, you can get dry rot. And uh, so it's a lot of work, but I found a guy to come out and do it. Praise the Lord. And that's our first step, is getting the old thing out, get the area cleaned up, and then uh, save up for the new wood stove that'll come in. And, um, and there's a lot to that. So that's one of my prayer requests, Brother Sister Christ, that God will bless that and help me get that done this summer so we can have a wood, a wood stove here. Um, one of the big uh, prayer requests, Brother Sister Christ, is that God just keeps, keeps using me. Okay? No matter what happens in this world, no matter what I'm going through, that God will keep using me, brother, says Christ. And I pray that he keeps using you, too. Um, so one of the biggest prayers for around here was that. That was a big prayer request. Um, so I want, I'm want i doing these videos that you'll make prayer requests and that you put them down in the comment section so I know what to pray for. I've got a prayer wall where people have emailed me or you've uh, sent me a letter. And I'm, I don't always get back to everybody, and don't always get back to everybody right away. <laughs> but I have gotten back to some. So I have a prayer wall, and um, it'd be nice. At first, when I did that prayer wall, I thought I would do, you know, pictures. I'd have letters, and I'd have pictures, so I have people's faces that I can put to the name. And when I'm praying for a brother or sister in Christ, I, I can see them, you know, visualize. Um, but there's going to be a lot of brothers and sisters Christ we're going to pray for that we, we've never seen. And we pray for everyone, brothers of Christ. We pray for all the brothers and sisters of Christ. But I have a prayer wall and I put stuff on there. Um, that's a good idea for you too. And that's what the whole point of these videos is to have uh, prayer requests. So we're praying for the brethren. And it's not just generalized, which is okay. You can pray generalized for the brethren. Lord, please provide for the brethren. Please watch over for the brethren. Uh, jobs, brethren are looking for good jobs that they're not vexed. That they can serve the Lord and work with their hands and do good, decent work. Um, that doesn't promote evil in any way, shape, or form. Um, you know, for families that are having hardships and whatnot, there's always prayer that you can do generalized, but sometimes it's really good to do specific prayers. There's a brother in Christ, he's trying to work on that wood stove. Uh, he really needs help, Lord, you know, to pray for something specific. So that's what these videos are about. A prayer request that came up from a brother and sister in Christ in Belgium. Okay, brother and sister in Christ in Belgium. When I talk to him about what's going on in Ukraine, God's got everything under control. Remember, Brother Sister Christ, God's not giving us a spirit of fear when it comes to the world and the ways of the world. 
God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. But I was asking them in Belgium, because they're in Europe and they're closer, and people that seem to be closer to what's going on in Ukraine, they're starting to feel the effects way before I would here in the U.S. So I was asking them how things are going, and then they brought up some other situations that we should be praying for brethren in other countries, especially strong Catholic countries. But let's, I want to read this real quick. The situation regarding the war between Russia and Ukraine is gradually getting through here. The Belgian armed forces provide aid and special food to Ukraine during this time. Neighboring Russia, Russia is not so satisfied with that and declares measures if Belgium continues this process. So I hope we don't get a war here either after some time. So it's just the threat of wars there, which these, this brother and sister of Christ are saying. We can use all the prayers we are getting right now. Brother, brothers and Christ, people over there, I don't know if there is any, but there might be a brother or sister in Christ in the Ukraine going through something like this. We need to be praying for them, that God keeps them steadfast for the truth, even if it costs them their life. No matter what's going on, they stay steadfast for the Lord and living for the Lord, and that God protects them in these tough times and watches over them. And I know He will, but why do we ask God? Because we don't deserve it. Lord, I don't deserve it. I know Your Word says You will. You give us precious promises, but I still ask because we don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Amen. Many people are scared here and don't sleep anymore for fear of attacks. We hope that God may protect these people and that Russia will repent. Amen. There's a lot more to, to what's going on over there, but bottom line, okay, what's going on over there, I believe, has to do with the end times. And I'm not talking about hardcore process. I'm just talking about it's about getting rid of physical currency. But that's a whole other discussion. This whole thing that's going on over there is about getting rid of all the physical currencies of the world. It's a prelude. It could be. It could be. I'm not, you know, hardcore on everything. I'm not a big politician. I just, I read things and I look at things. And I'm like, okay, this is, you know, there's more to it than what people think is to it. Right? We, uh, we trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, and know that everything will work out in the end because He coordinates everything. Amen. God is in charge. God, we need to trust God and we need to trust His Word. Okay. The problem here in Belgium is, that, is also that the country is at least 80% Catholic. 80% Catholic. You know, kind of sounds like America. America, whether they're closet Catholics or openly Catholic, it's like America is 80 to 90 percent Catholic. But what she's talking about, this, brother, this sister in Christ and her, and the brother in Christ, is that they're openly Catholic. Catholicism rules and reigns, 80 percent Catholic. They all go to nearby churches and pray to false gods. Also, all Dutch Bibles here are based on the corrupt text of the Vatican. Okay, the Nestle's Alon, Alexandrian text. They're not based off of um, the Texas Receptus, Syrian text, uh -huh. which is what the King James Bible is, is based on. A big, big problem, and it is. They, they're not relying on God's Word. We think that maybe only 10% of the Belgians own a King James Bible. Well, first thing I want to say is praise the Lord that the King James Bible's there. Even if it's only 10%, God's Word is there. Praise the Lord. Um, and we need to be helping brothers and sisters of Christ overseas and uh, in America. Anybody needs a Bible? I want to bring that up again. Email this ministry. If you need a King James Bible, email this ministry. And if it's within, if God makes it, a, with, gives me the authority and power to do it, I will try to get a King James Bible to you. Okay, God's perfect written word in English. This also means that we try to bring the right word among the people as much as possible to provide them with a King James Bible so that they can see and read for themselves that they are answerable to a false god. They're worshiping a false god. Uh, we talked about this in the last uh, Bible, morning Bible reading we did about all the false Jesuses out there, the Antichrists. Okay? They're, they're not the real Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ they worship doesn't line up with Scripture, so they're praying to a false god. That's true. In this modern and futuristic time, people forget God and He is pushed aside. There is no more time for that. The gospel no longer fits in this time. That's the time about their attitude. A total wrong attitude which they will regret a lot. Absolutely, amen. 
when it comes push comes to shove and they go to stand before Jesus Christ at the ju uh, at the great white throne okay they're going to regret their attitude that they have today and i pray that god will break break them and he will and when they become broken they still have a choice they can go back to the world or they can get saved and i pray that they get saved we are in the last days and the very purpose is to bring so many people to our Lord by reading the right and only word in the King James Bible. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Being a light to the world. That's right. Amen. Brothers and sisters. Amen. We must be there for our brothers and sisters always. Another thing she wants to point out. We need to be praying for our brothers and sisters of Christ in these last days. Stand, stand, stand. Don't faint. Don't falter. Don't get distracted by what's going on in the world. There's brethren in need. Physical need. Okay, financial need. We need to be praying for them. We need to be helping brothers and sisters of Christ out when we're able to. Okay. When God's given us abundance and, and given us the, the power and authority to help brethren out, we need to be helping them out. But we need to be praying for them. As you say yourself, if the internet ever goes down, we still have to support each other, and God will certainly provide a way for that. Like I said, if, if the internet goes down, we get kicked off, whatever, uh, brothers and sisters of Christ... Your foundation needs to be the Word of God, and we need to go back to doing things the old way. So one of my big prayer requests is that the brethren will start forming house churches. Start having true accountability, true encouragement, physical encourage people there physically to help one another, encourage one another to come together to start doing, go back to doing street witnessing ministries, going out and uh, preaching the gospel, gospel tracting, get back to doing things that when I first got saved was was really big but today it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal anymore it is a big deal I want to get that last soul saved I'm looking for that blessed hope I love the appearing of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we need to live every day like that we need to be winning people to Christ right. remember with your words and with your deeds the life that you live for Jesus Christ your living testimony we need Him now more than ever. Amen. We will certainly keep you informed of all the developments here, and please pray for us in these dark times. We hope you have a nice day today, supported by our Lord Jesus Christ. And she gave me 2 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. You know what's going to get us through these dark times, brother says Christ? Hiding God's word in our heart, prayer, that blessed hope, that blessed hope, looking for it, loving it, the appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, living for Jesus Christ every day. We could go through some really hard times and some brethren are struggling, you know, with having to deal with Catholicism hardcore. And um, like I said, we just need to keep these prayers. That's the whole point of these videos is prayer requests. So brothers and sisters in Christ, please, please, in the comment section, if you got some prayer requests, prayer requests. Um, I go back, I mean, my prayer for me is that I keep my heart on, on the Lord, my eyes on the Lord all the time. And that's my prayer for everybody. But an individual prayer outside of the, the most important prayers um, is the wood stove. So please, Brother and Sister Christ, pray for this Brother and Sister Christ in Belgium and all the brethren that are over there in Europe. But pray for the brethren of the world, you know, that are having to deal with false converts. They're trying to reach people for Jesus Christ, that God will renew their spirit every day. Okay, day by day. I love that old hymn, day by day and with each passing moment. Okay, strength I find to meet my trials here. You're going to find trials as you're trying to live for the Lord every day. Okay, you're going to find pushback. There's a war, a spiritual battle that's being fought. So we need to be praying for the brethren. Okay? Wood stove for me, pray for the brothers and sisters in Christ over there that they get, they get King James Bibles. That they're able to witness to people and lead people to Christ who want it and that God will protect them and keep them you know separate from what's going on in the world and that's a good prayer for a lot of the brethren so the comment section prayer requests pray without ceasing just remember brothers is Christ that my love for you is in Christ Jesus our Lord and we need to be praying for one another and we need to be there for one another the Bible talks about loving one another. True love is an action. Remember? Love isn't a feeling. It's an act of your will. Love isn't just words. It's your deeds, what you do. 
What you do for the body of Christ determines whether you love the body of Christ, not just your words. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching. Oh.